And we are back uh, with the first result of the round four of classical portion of Grandmaster Triathlon here at 56 International Build Chess Festival. And I'm here right now with uh, David Navarro and Bogdan Daniel Diak. It was very quick draw, but position was very, very interesting. And the opening outcome was interesting. Could you share some insights about the game? Uh, I Okay. Okay, start. Thank you. I was surprised uh, by Bogdan Daniel's choice because, uh, okay, first knight f6, I went, sorry. So, <laughs> knight f6, uh, I haven't expected this one. I could also play knight c6 to avoid this, but I only looked at knight g e2 uh, as in the game the Kaimer. So, queen b3 was a surprise, but on the other hand, uh, with uh, the moves knight f3, knight c6, uh, uh, queen c2, here black takes on ct so c3 mm -hmm. anyway, so I took and mm -hmm. now knight c6. Yes, ah, I was to a to bit. Port knight f3. Yes, this transposes to mm -hmm. a line which I am playing regularly, or not regularly, but relatively often. But I was a bit afraid of. Uh, before, I don't know what happens, but given that uh, Bogdan was prepared, I was not willing to enter such a position. I understand that White also takes some risks because he's underdeveloped, but uh, I did not want to play this. So, ah, sorry. So I decided to play it safely and also hope that maybe I could be able to push C5 at mm -hmm. some point. Now after knight f3, knight c6, it transposes to a normal line, and I, and, uh, I pushed the d5. Of course, black had, both sides uh, had alternatives on almost every move. Uh, and, uh, sorry, sorry. Yes. And now I realize that it could be really yeah, unpleasant. Yes, I originally wanted, but I didn't know. Oh, yes, I saw this, but I was afraid that my pieces could be a bit loose here in the center. Basically, I originally did not want to sacrifice a pawn. It's not exactly very much my style, although I'm good with initiative. But the problem was that I understood I needed to develop the pieces somehow. Yes. And if I play bishop e6, the problem is that white plays this and bishop b2. After f6, there is even d3, d4, and sometimes also bishop d3 in other positions. And uh, big problem is that ah, sorry, I just need to click back. Yes. If I ever uh, yes, okay. Put if there. I ever push uh, e4 in a reply to knight f3, white gets a very nice mm -hmm. square for his knight and um, opens diagonal for his bishop, and he will be better. So I needed to prevent mm -hmm. this. I needed to develop my knight on d7, or at least that I believed. I saw a5, b5, and uh, I was tempted to play some knight d7, knight c5, a4, knight b3, but it's too mm -hmm. many moves and too little time for it. And uh, also I considered playing b6, bishop b7, knight d7. I sometimes actually play Sicilian with b3, with white, against uh, Scheveningen. Uh, or I, I mean against two e6. Uh, so, but here I dislike something like queen e4 because I'm not quite in time. c6 is not a move which I would like to play with such a bishop because mm -hmm. white can also develop pieces by attacking my e5 pawn. And this probably fails uh, because white can exchange the queen for three pieces and now I have just too many weak mm -hmm. squares, it's bad. So, let's go back. Yes, okay. G4. Yes, so bishop g4 is a pawn sacrifice or maybe a sacrifice of two pawns if, if I white this. plays yes. this, but uh, black has a huge lead in development, so it should be fine, I assume. I will push a5 and then either I take on b4 or I get some nice square for my uh, knight, and sometimes I can also push c5, so yes. it looked sound. So in the game, after bishop, yes. Bishop B2, yes. Yes, actually, I did not like my position very much here, but knight D7 is logical. Yes. Uh, bishop D3. Looks normal. Yes, I didn't want to play this because then I don't have so much of a plan here. Here, I think, about other thing. H3. Yes. So, yes. Bishop here. Okay, f takes is mostly not good, but right here it could also be considered because I don't get mated and I can sometimes get some counterplay, but okay, let's uh, look at this at first. But not f3? Yes. yes, 
yes, I understand. Nice idea. Because now you get this square, and I, I would like to bring my knight here, but it doesn't seem to be possible. And to knight d7. Ah, there is always Sorry. a c7. May I ask you on which side are you going to play next? I agree that white, is, white stands well, but I'm just wondering if you want to castle play king g2, f3, or to, because there are many options. Perhaps it depends on my reaction. Yes. 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 It would be good to ask during the game, what would you like to do? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so here, yeah, uh, I didn't want to play that because also ah. because of uh, not e2, because after e4, anyway, bishop c4 mm -hmm. comes and this square is weak and the bishop becomes active. And if I ever exchange here, white just has a bishop pair, and if I play bishop h5, then white can play knight g3, or just play a favorable structure, because this bishop could become very strong sometimes. Uh, so I decided... Ah, here, at knight e2, bishop h, uh, h5, yes, knight g3, here I think about this, and h4. Yes, interesting, yes. It makes sense. Okay. So I decided to play knight uh, five f6. It's similar to some uh, positions in, I don't know if it's Mayan or what is it, where black plays uh, often uh, in such a way. Uh, uh, yes, D3 because D3 yes, somehow D5, D5, in yes. some structures it's important to keep the knight here because it's better for counterplay. And uh, here uh, I want to play. We can put from the beginning yes, yes. just to show. C4, yes. C6. I will try. Uh, yes. uh, no, without D4, I think. Uh, okay, maybe. I meant just something like this. There are some some lines. Uh, ah, not this meran. Yes, m maybe it's not really meran. I don't know, but there are some lines where the knight stands better on this. Uh, when what? place at e4, e5, it's better to retreat to d7 than to e5, because from d7 the knight attacks e5 and uh, can go to c5, but I don't know how to achieve it ah. right now, so okay. maybe. I think about this thing, oh, no, c3, e3, this, this, yes. e6, b3. Yes. When you play e5, c, d, c, d, knight, b5. Yes. You, you put knight c6. Yes, m might be the case also. So here, uh, where are we now? Bishop g4 and uh, okay. probably, <laughs> yes, thank you. Here, knight e6. Yes, and so I want maybe to push c5, maybe e4 and knight e5, it depends. Actually, later I realized that pushing c5 ah, is not so great Queen because... Queen c7 I'm doesn't work yes, and because f. of this. Oh, okay. <laughs> so just uh, that I could play a5, a5 and yes. a then attack your queen, and that it was at least not bad, but you are probably right. I or this, yes, right. Yes. So you played uh, h3. h3. I now I realize that bishop e6 would allow knight f3 when it is, unple it is unpleasant because a pawn is hanging, and uh, after bishop d5 there is e4. Yes. And... Uh, so I played bishop h5. Uh, somehow I had considered f3, and then I would probably have gone on e6. F3, so, yes. Bishop e6. Yes. yes. And here, after knight e2, uh, my original intention was to play e4 on or c5, but c5 has no threats. So it, it creates no threat because, uh, for example, if white castles or may, maybe plays knight g3 first, uh, I can hardly ever take on a take on b4 because there is a bishop a3 in many lines. Yes. And uh, the problem was with e4 is that uh, here it gets such a square for the knight and my bishop is terrible. This bishop is very strong. It's just bad. So I played a5 trying to generate counterplay as quickly as possible. Well, the original idea was to take here, but then I realized that white just takes on b4. Mm -hmm. Yes. And now uh, I'm not in time, I can play knight f6, but then white protects the pawn and uh, mm -hmm. he has a bishop pair and some slight advantage. And if I take here, white is in time to take, to go back to f5 or somewhere and then to castle. And I'm not in time to play g6, so. Uh, yes, okay, if you can, thank you. So bishop 
this looks fine and now yes. I don't like my decision what I did because here probably queen c5 was fine I don't know I originally wanted to yes, play king rook. king e2 yes and now I don't know yeah, if rook e8 or knight d7 but probably this I think about rook c1 maybe you have d4 a4 at some point or and d4 right now yes I disliked such ideas but I don't know how good it is. Talk, I yes. mean, I assume if I play knight to d7, you pr can probably even play no, a. Yes, I saw saw this. I saw a and maybe yes. rook e5. I have mm -hmm. to activate my rook, be rook before you that do that. But maybe rook c1. Yes. Uh, of yes. 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 Rook c1. I was afraid that it could be unpleasant for me, but uh, at least so far this knight is not so active. So mm -hmm. maybe it's fine. Yes. Rock maybe it's rook. not. But I was afraid of such end games. Uh, and uh, yes, it could be unpleasant. I don't know how much and uh, where. Originally, I believed the queen c5 to be fine. Then I realized. Also about this. Yes, but I was afraid that I could become slightly worse in a position Six. like this. Yes, m maybe black can generate enough activity here. But I was uh, afraid of creating some weaknesses. But probably mm -hmm. all right. Probably it's a good yes. idea. So in the game. I played a4, but soon started to regret because I realized that uh, my b7 pawn might become quite weak in some lines. Uh, okay, rook b6, and move. I was a bit afraid of this now. Mm -hmm. Or maybe also rook b1 instead, uh, I don't know, but this was one of the mm -hmm. options, and uh, then one rook goes to b1, let's say this Can one. but. This? Yes, but Bogdan suggested rook a6 here, and it might well be fine for black. I was just afraid that I have uh, problems with some hanging pieces, and that uh, this d5 square can also sometimes become weak, but maybe it's not such a big problem, actually. Let's play a4. I don't know if I really want to play a5, because this rook can sometimes turn into a tactical weakness. And now I would like to do something with the knight, but may maybe I should have gone the other rook on b1, but I agree that it's maybe not as great as I was afraid. Maybe, maybe knight e4, knight d2, knight c4, but yes. it also takes some time. I mean, it could easily be a, a position where white is slightly better, but with no risk, and white could play it for a long time, so I was afraid of it. Uh, I mean, Bogdan is uh, strong at such positions. I think also about knight f6. Yes, yes, you are right. If maybe probably it's maybe. some plus for white. Yes, probably somewhere, not here, on c4. Probably somewhere it is. So originally I was not so happy to see queen c4 because I, after queen e6, white takes, and somehow it does not look exactly like equality I'm a pawn down and might have some partial compensation but it's not equal mm -hmm. and it's uh, unpleasant uh, but then I realized uh, sorry 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 and then I realized that I could just attack the queen and after queen a2 I could play maybe rook e8 maybe queen e6 but it should yeah, I think about this yes, yes. rook f b1 and b this mm -hmm. nice queen c2 Yes, I here just to play. Yes, I didn't think about this, but I believe I also have other options. For example, I don't know if b6 is so bad here, and then queen e6, or you can try. Yes, yes, or I can also play queen e6 immediately, which should not be too bad because now my b pawn is not so vulnerable. So I will play maybe knight d5 later, rook yes. a8, and mm -hmm. it looks equal to me. So. So I don't know what happens now. I think it's probably just equal, and if black uh, avoids the repetition, mm -hmm. black can uh, only be worse here. White has probably no way to advantage anyway, so it was sort of logical. Mm -hmm. And uh, actually, it was funny because here I claimed a draw after queen c4. I mean, I wrote down rook c6, which was not exactly necessary because it's a three-fourth repetition even mm -hmm. here. And yes. Just the abbot asked us to make the move with the clock already stopped, mm -hmm. which was surprising. But it, but it was because of the online transmission, just uh, like mm -hmm. draw agreed, but uh, just this. Mm -hmm. But normally, of course, one should not make a move uh, when claiming a draw. 
Bogdan Daniel, what would be your move if you are not uh, not agreeing on to the draw, to the free fall repetition? Okay, you were thinking about Queen A2 or? Yes. Queen A2, yeah. About this move, I think. Mm -hmm. Here I tap this, this, and this move. And I think. You didn't like him. Yeah? Yes, about I. This. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe I can try. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Maybe you can try here, but I think I would have played queen e6 at some point, either before or b6, queen e6, mm -hmm. and I'm... At b6, I think about a4. Yes, but I have some ideas, and uh, I mean, it should not be yes, too difficult to yes. hold here. Can I? Uh, mm. Maybe. Talk on c3 and b c7, yes. Oh, nice, okay, but... Yes, talk, talk. But you have to take here first, yes. somehow. And I don't need to take on the three. Oh, I understand this is an unpleasant complication for me, but uh, still, if I take it this way, am I going to have any problems? Uh, knight e4, f6. Uh, yes, this is not exactly what I would like, but even here, it's not a big problem, in my opinion. I can even take with the rook, because the bishop is sort of hanging. Yes. It's not exactly what I want. Uh, I want to give check. Yes. Rook d8. Okay, I misplayed it, but still, it should be well within drawing margin. What about rook d6, can I? Or? Rook d6, knight, knight e4. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, it loses. Yes, you are right. This is nice. But uh, if we come a few moves back, yes. for example, here, a4. Actually, I would have probably played queen e6 immediately without rook a8, because then uh, this, is, uh, this can be avoided. But even here, for the sake of argument, I think it uh, should be possible to find something better. I don't know what is a knight c5, because sometimes the knight can jump somewhere and a5 does not look so dangerous because I can even take it or like this. It, I think now it looks equal. Mm -hmm. A few moves ago, I was moderately worried about bishop b4, bishop c3. So, David, uh, is it correct that you didn't want to repeat? Uh, uh, so you wanted to repeat just because you didn't have a better move. So if you would continue something else, it would be uh, a little slightly worse for you. I was playing with black, and yes. my score against Bogdan Daniel is not great. So I was generally happy with a draw, and uh, I'm not generally not very happy with quick draws. But uh, if uh, my position would be worse, otherwise mm -hmm. there was no question of... Uh, playing further now. I mean, if the tournament situation were specific, like I were losing 1-0 and needing to win, it would have been different. But mm -hmm. I mean, here, it, it was just the most sensible mm -hmm. decision. Uh, I mean, I like to play interesting chess, but also like to play good moves. And now, good moves were repetition. Uh, what is your score? You were saying that uh, your score is... I, I actually don't know. I know the first game was a quick draw, then I won one good game in Gibraltar, then I lo lost uh, in Titled Tuesday once, uh, I <laughs> lost uh, in Blitz uh, in Grand Swiss in 2021, one and a half to half. Uh, I lost two games in Dortmund and Polish Extra League last year. There, there were some draws, uh, one in this Grand Swiss uh, 2021. Uh, there was a draw in another title Tuesday. There was a, a draw this year in Prague. There was, I think, one more maybe one more draw somewhere. I lost uh, here in Fisher Random, but won in Rapid, finally. <laughs> so it's not so bad, but also it was one of the reasons why I w played a bit differently from usual, my usual games, why I w was sacrificing material so often, mm -hmm. I mean, just pawns, but one reason was mm -hmm. that I did not like the alternatives. And another reason was that I was just trying to play moves which I felt to be good and not necessarily moves which mm -hmm. would uh, be in line with my style. Mm -hmm. Bogdan Daniel, yesterday you played so far the longest ga game in the Grandmaster Triathlon. You played for seven hours. Uh, are you tired? Were, did this decision to, to accept the draw or repetition was contributed by that you were tired from yesterday? Not all, yes. Yes? I, I try to play normal, but mm -hmm. not to risk without logic. Mm -hmm. 
So now you are very early, now free. What are you going to do today? What are your plans, David? Uh, take some rest. And uh, I would also like to mention that I was lucky in the respect that uh, before my black games, Yi Yangi was uh, playing long for win against my prospective opponents, uh, both against uh, uh, against uh, Arjun Eri Garcia and Bogdan Daniel Deak. So, mm -hmm. uh, it was a lucky pairing, but I am not sure if I will be so happy with it after playing <laughs> against the Yangi in round six with the black. <laughs> and you, Bagdad Daniel, what are your plans for today? Rest after yesterday? Yes. yes. So tomorrow is Blitz. Are you ready for it, Bogdan? I think yes. Yes. So there was some question from the audience asking you, what do you think are fun openings to play in over the board uh, Blitz? Uh, one should play openings which, uh, in which uh, he or she f feels uh, good, and uh, uh, one should play openings which uh, one knows better than the opponents. Uh, sometimes in terms of concrete lines, sometimes in terms of understanding. Mm -hmm. And uh, can I put? Yes. Ah, yes. If you want to see. No, basically, I think this blitz tournament is going to be very important here because. Uh, <laughs> In the tournament, uh, there will be distributed as many points as uh, in uh, the first four rounds of classical chess, if we assume that there is a 50% drawing rate in the classical mm -hmm. games. So it means that uh, good form in blitz is very important here. Mm -hmm. And so, oh yeah, yeah. of course, good blitz skills, but form mm -hmm. can change quite something. So mm -hmm. I assume that uh, Arjun and Bogdan can uh, can uh, play well tomorrow because uh, they are both very strong in Blitz. Mm -hmm. Bogdan, Daniel, do you have some um, suggestions for our audience? What is fun to play in over the board Blitz? Yes. Yes, King's Gambit. King's Gambit? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Very fun, yes? <laughs> For Blitz, yes. <laughs> so I will make also some PR uh, to mention uh, and mention a novelty which I found in 2005 during Polish League and first played in 2011 during Polish League and first wrote about it in 2010, surprisingly, for, Czech, for one Czech chess magazine. So this is... Ah, yes. before G5. Yes, before G5 is a lot of fun. <laughs> Are you going to play it tomorrow? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, but uh, <laughs> never say never. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, so a couple more questions to Bogdan Daniel, because we haven't seen you for the interview before, just uh, only today. Uh, obviously, yesterday you had a very long day, and you were tired. We didn't want, to, uh, we didn't want you to torture with your questions, but it's your first time here in Biel. How do you feel yourself? OK. Stay a bit. Until right now, I feel you have to say, okay, mm -hmm. good, not at my best mm -hmm. version, but okay, good. Mm -hmm. But you're looking forward to Blitz, yes? Yes. Okay, great. Thank you so much. We wish you good luck for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be Blitz, and let's have fun at Blitz tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.